Hi, I'm Jonathan, designer and founder at Brother Max. The following interview is between Rachel Liddell, health editor of Mother and Baby and Practical Parenting magazines, and Dr. Hilary Jones, practicing GP and patron of the Meningitis Research Foundation. They're discussing symptoms of common illnesses in little ones, toddlers, and older children, and the importance of temperature taking. I think the first thing that parents can do as winter approaches especially is to make sure that the child um, is doing the basic uh, hygiene things that we would expect of them washing their hands frequently because sometimes just shaking hands, touching hard surfaces is a way of picking up viruses and germs. So teaching them that those basics are really important. Also to avail themselves of available vaccinations. If the GP is offering vaccinations against the flu, um, whether it's the seasonal flu or swine flu, it's worth listening and, and talking and discussing that with your doctor so that you make the right choices and protect your children as much as you can. I think a healthy diet's important, plenty of fresh air and exercise is important, uh, and of course if someone is exposed to a family member who's got an obvious infection, you can keep the other children away as much as is practically possible, that always helps. But I think also um, making sure that if symptoms develop, you monitor those symptoms uh, and uh, look for the progression of an illness uh, using what medications are available. Uh, we know how effective paracetamol is, and we know that it's important to give plenty of fluids uh, to rehydrate and prevent dehydration. Bed rest, wherever it's appropriate, is important. And those um, over-the-counter remedies that uh, help to uh, ease headaches, sore throats, that sort of thing. But also very important is to have an accurate and versatile thermometer like the Brother Max 3-in-1, which will combine the benefits of giving you a core temperature taken from the eardrum with the availability of, um, and the option of uh, being able to scan the whole of the forehead if the eardrum isn't uh, a, a possibility, and measuring the ambient temperature of the room as well. I think if you're doing all those things, you're doing the very best you can to protect your child uh, and make sure they get as, as, as well, as quickly as possible when they become poorly. I think if um, a mother has an instinct that their child is uh, poorly and deteriorating, she should definitely follow that instinct. Nobody knows that child like the mother does. Uh, and therefore if she conveys that concern to the doctor that's a very valuable thing for her to be able to do. If the symptoms are deteriorating, if the child isn't eating, isn't playing normally, um, appears to be in discomfort or pain, they should be looked at. And certainly if the temperature is elevated uh, persistently uh, on more than two or three consecutive readings and climbing rather than falling off the medication that's a time to consult a healthcare professional. We have to remember that children become poorly all the time. Uh, I know as my children grew up, there was always something, and they're likely to become poorly maybe four or five times a year, sometimes more than that, as they're exposed to more and more viruses. But how do we know whether their infection is just an ear infection, a short-lived tonsillitis, or something more serious, a respiratory infection caused by flu, or even something very significant like the onset of meningitis. It's sometimes very difficult to know. So all we can do is to keep an eye on what's happening, how the uh, condition is progressing. Uh, and I think the versatility of a three-in-one thermometer like the one made by Brother Max offers a fantastic opportunity for parents to check on the core temperature and get an accurate reading and keep an eye on it. And when you bear in mind that it combines the opportunity to take a, a forehead reading using the scanner and getting an accurate reading there and check on the ambient temperature of the room in which the child is, I think you know, you've got a, a very reassuring device there that you're going to use a lot as a parent whilst your child is growing up.